integrate your future or stand up for effective education. School is not a place for smart people. Rick Sanchez Education, knowledge, is a living organism or ecosystem. It starts with a delicate seed and grows into a magnificent garden. School, your teachers, are performers, skilled to get you to pass state tests by means of memorization. Because as far as tests are concerned, temporary memorization and full comprehension look the same on paper. The people who were supposed to protect you stopped reading books and severed their connection to the hard-earned past. We are at a stage where we are bouncing off the very bottom again. We have fallen to feel the ground. It is how we can be sure that schools are not working. Education and authentic schools are the most important thing there is. But without our hard-earned past, we will stay on the bottom, enslaved by ghouls of mediocrity. A perfect example of that are religious institutions, especially the smaller ones that think they can get away with everything. They faked effective education to create a congregation, presided over by a parasitic organization that provides no value and no lasting relief. In fact, the notion that you must serve in life to arrive at a paradise after death should be an insult. Life is the promise. Life is the paradise. It is the great miracle. And people who hope to trick you out of it are pretty evil indeed. Evil has the power to assume pleasing shape, as that saying goes. Just like there cannot be any compromise between good and evil because good does not need anything from evil, it only stands to lose. Liars easily outcompete and outdestroy honest people. It takes centuries to invent systems to build a cathedral, but only a fool with a match to destroy it. Good guys rarely win. Open your eyes to what surrounds you. Where authentic education and knowledge is organic and connected, ineffective education is a shotgun blast of disconnected noise. This noise just happens to perfectly fit the equally ineffective tests. When smeared on a piece of paper, it becomes a passing grade. And if you participate in this, then you become a fool. Because not only do you not learn anything for real, but you get the teachers that betrayed you, the man who sold the world, paid off. You grant them a fraudulent paycheck. See, school is our most beautiful idea. But the good teachers and leaders were outcompeted. The lazy teachers who just followed directions were more convenient. And whoever did not teach the lowest common denominator curriculum got punished and forced to do what they are told by the equally ignorant and arrogant leaders. When you are taught for real, you fail state tests, schools lose accreditation, and liars don't get paid. So you receive a fake education that is tried 
and tested and of lowest common denominator nature so that everyone gets paid schools were built for you but they have been infested by parasites who don't care for effective education if you don't learn for real if you have no organically integrated knowledge and tools for thinking within you your future becomes disintegrated you are disabled to build your own future and you have to lie like your teachers did in one way or another the process will repeat itself and those who do bare minimum or have generational wealth perhaps will rule over you please understand that there is a very good and clear reason why when you have a moment to yourself while you're working your shift at the gas station you can't see your future your own future that you are supposed to be in charge of it is the disability brought on by ineffective fake scattered noise lowest common denominator education you got tricked education that was driven into you and that you were forced into accepting under the threat of ridicule or bad gpa that could cut you off from whatever future you thought you may have had you thought your gpa dictated the life ahead of you but it was actually the choices that you make towards authenticity when you look a liar in the face and they see in your eyes that you are unafraid and will not participate in their games they will lose control over you and you will begin growing on your own free they had an evil saying in the american south a learned servant is a no good servant to put it mildly to add to what was on nat turner's and his rebel's mind evil can only beget evil therefore you must reject fake education to escape its curse entirely it is the only way you can integrate your future authentic education gives you the tools to construct your own future fake education will always keep you somebody else's servant and this is not a question of merely escaping servitude or basking in the mediocrity of uncultured ghouls child you are meant to grow all the way up and become an authentic great being that changes lives you are to leave a lasting legacy that at the very least many of the future's troublemakers will consume in a narrated format during their great crossing of the appalachian pacific crest and continental divide trails go see your principal ask them to do the right thing tell them that the simple tricks will not work on you you will not let them transfer you out as a gifted child and that you are not interested in some crappy lowest common denominator balanced education tell them that it is their duty to deliver functional authentic and profound education to every student every day 
Not across a semester, not across a single week, not in college or university, but every school day. When you are young, that is as simple as practicing oil painting with the aid of wall projectors, or even composing music by ear with beat sequencers and piano rolls. As you grow, you must demand that you are taught programming and programmatic 3D modeling, even if just to generate jewelry or program smart parts that can auto-resize. Tell them that you know they have betrayed you. Tell them that you know that they are the men who sold the world. Tell them that you expect all of this now, not next week, not next semester, not next school, but now. And then ask your peers to stand up for learning programming first, because it will set them free from poverty. Gather at the library. Put all your school lunch money together and pay the tutors, those students who are already familiar with programming, and build a real school inside your larger fake school. And if not, learn for real on your own and start with programming for the web. Because if you fail, you will become a blind, proud, incompetent ghoul as your grandchildren are shipped off to another meaningless, easily preventable war. Integrate your future and become a great being with a legacy to match.